Bismen, marami na po tayo na pauwi at ginagawa po ng imbahan na po. Bago lumubog ang araw sa kanduran, tatawagan po. Welcome to Summer Rain Channel. Samahan nyo kami sa isa na namang makulay, masaya at katatawanan, hitik sa impormasyon at nag-uumapaw na emosyong seminar kasama ang mga kawani ng Philippine Embassy at ilang Filipino community leaders upang lalong maintindihan at mas mapalawak ang kaalaman para maging epektibo ang pagbibigay ng tulong sa mga nangangailangan higit lalo sa kapwa Pilipinong nasa masalimot na sitwasyon at disposisyon dito sa JA Resort with of course our resource speakers Ms. Gwen Leano, Certified Guidance Counselor Ms. Fe Garcia, Freelance Psychologist and Father Henry Ponce, Director of the Afro-Asian Migrant Center Dahil para mas matuto kailangan nating tanggapin na meron pa tayong hindi alam. We put ourselves in the loving presence of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> uh, our call for today, because our topic is on helping skills, the call for us to be the heart of God to everyone who will come to us. Okay? May I request everyone to please stand up? Uh, we will give you today is helping skill. What challenges or difficulties do you encounter when somebody comes to you for help? Ano mga pagsubo, mga challenges ang hinaharap ninyo pag may lumalapit sa inyo at humihingi ng tulong. Sa inyong sariling karanasan na bilang paggagawa sa imbahada, bilang OFW leader, anong mga challenges at di, anong mga mahihirap na nararanasan nyo pagka mayroong lumalapit sa inyo at humihingi ng tulong. Okay? Next. What specific help do you want to get in relation to the challenges, difficulties you encounter? Anong tulong ang hinihiling ninyo na matutunan para maharap yung mga challenges na yan? Ano yung advice, proper advice na mahinigilin namin? And how to categorize yung problem na kanilang pinaparating sa amin? How do I learn to become more patient and understanding in the face of demanding makukulit mga close-minded clients. Conducting conflict resolution trainings or seminar. Technical help. Ako ay masaya kapag kabewang ka. Ako ay masaya kapag katuhod ka. Katuhod-katuhod ka. Ako ay masaya kapag kamahal-pahal ka. In the helping process, What is involved is a helping relationship. Assist another in bringing about changes in his or her way of life. There are certain helper qualities. Ano mga katangian ng tao nagbibigay ng tulong? Helper skills. Anong mga kaalaman no? ang dapat mayroon kayo? And then, helping process. May proseso ang pagtulong, hindi arya ng arya to come up with a good outcome. The primary tool in the helping process is the self. Kaya tayo nagsimula sa seminar natin ng self-awareness at self-identity because you cannot give what you do not have. You cannot give from an empty well. The general characteristics are self-awareness and understanding. Good psychological health, sensitivity, open-mindedness, objectivity, not taking any sides, no? Competence, trustworthiness, interpersonal attractiveness. A healthy self-concept, you recognize your value and worth as a person with dignity. Tayo, meron tayong alam. Pero, 
Para tayo mas matuto, kailangan nating tanggapin, meron pa akong hindi alam. Okay? To empower them. To say, to help them participate in the help that you are giving to them. So yun guys, um, magla-lunch na po, lunch break po, ng day 3 ng seminar. characteristics of an effective helper. First is accurate empathy. It is very important that we distinguish between sympathy and empathy. Okay, ano ba yung sympathy and empathy? A person with accurate empathy can correctly perceive the feelings of another person without being captured by the victim's emotion. A person with sympathy actually feels what the victim feels and this may prevent him from being objective in a helping relationship since he is likely to be caught up in the victim's emotions. <coughs> Compassion and understanding assist the helper in perceiving the other person's feelings and experiences accurately. Pag meron tayong Compassion. Ano sa Tagalog yung compassion? Awa dahil sa pagmamahal, no? At meron tayong pangunawa, nakaka-assist yan sa tagapagtulong para makita niya ng maayos yung problema ng iba. Warmth. Ano ba yung warmth? It is communicated primarily through non-verbal ways, including eye contact, non-possessive touch, and body language. War is communicated through non-verbal ways. <coughs> Paano niyo napapakita na meron may war sa ibang tao? Smile. Do not be afraid of weakness. Because when you are weak, people are not afraid to come to you. When you are very strong, yes. when you are very, very good, people are threatened and are afraid to go to you. A warm voice. Ano ba yung warm voice? They told me when you're gonna talk to somebody through the phone, you always smile. So that it will make your voice or your, your voice ready when you smile. So when you frown, when you talk to somebody, they will feel that you are not interested or you're not, you know, something like that. Para sa lahat ng mga tumutulong. Having respect for another person does not mean the helper takes ownership of the problems. Hindi nyo aangkinin yung problema ng lumapit sa inyo or rescues them from responsibility. Okay. Every person, regardless of social or moral status, deserves respect as a human being. Ito, mahirap to. Genuineness. A genuine person is truthful, honest about feelings and does not wear a mask which presents a false image. Confrontation. It is no accident that this quality is listed near the end of the eight core conditions of helping. There must be a display of the previous conditions such as empathy, warmth, and respect before a relationship can benefit from confrontation. Immediate feedback. Focusing on the health of the relationship. This quality deals with the immediate relationship between two people. Ano immediate feedback? Huwag nang patagalin. Sabihin na. You cannot escape fear forever. At a certain time in your life, you have to confront your fear. Carl Rogers, one of the more famous psychologists, summarized the three. Nabanggit na natin yan. Empathy, congruence. Parehong klaro na sa atin yan, ano? And the third, unconditional positive regard. At ito yung congruence, di ba? Yung feeling mo at sinasabi mo dapat align. Ano yung unconditional positive regard? Accepting and valuing another human being regardless of their thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors. What is catharsis? It's the process of releasing 
no? Releasing their feelings. A catharsis is also known as exploration. You have to help your clients pick up basic exploration skills. Ano na dapat meron kayo para natuturuan nyo yung tao mag, mag, maging capable of exploration? Attending and listening. Restatement. Open questions. Reflection of feelings. Change of color, talk muscles, all of this. And we said, read between the lines. Listen with the third eye. And listen with the third ear. Listen with the third ear. Listen with the third ear. the person a new way of thinking. Kaya nga, isa sa mga therapy, isa sa psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy. A change of mind, a change of concept. So what are we going to have today? Father will facilitate the listening skills. I'm going to give you the basic helping skills and uh, to learn to help it is important that we know how to listen so I'm going to teach you listening skills uh, in active listening it is a way of listening and responding to another person that improves mutual understanding Okay? Sabi nga nila, listening is the beginning of understanding. Okay? So, there are seven key active listening skills. And they are, we have to be attentive. We have to ask open-ended questions. We ask probing questions. We request clarification. And we paraphrase. And be attuned to and reflect feelings. And lastly, we should summarize. So those are basic helping skills. I hope you will be able to use them. Practice them, okay? Yung isa magiging counseling. Sana, tawagan ka ulit. Bago lumubog ang araw sa kanuran, katawagan ko. Siguraduhin mo lang yan kasi kapag hindi dumating yung password, Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, please raise your hand. More than person dreams at least five days. What do you notice about your dream? Feeling that and very fragile. Because when you are asleep, your conscious mind is resting. What is active is what is in your subconscious nightmare. Oh, yeah, nightmare. Uh, people who went through yung mga unresolved issues mo when you were still a child. Pag hindi yan nag-undergo ng therapy, every night meron niyang nightmare. naranasan natin and then at the end of the day pinahanapan ng solution na overcome so nakasmile na siya I am what I am I don't want praise I don't want pity I bang my own drum Always remember there was always a rainbow after every story Dame toda la noche y no nos queda mucho tiempo más. No quiero perder lo que queda. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. No quiero perder lo que queda. Y más y más allá, a través de la gran oscuridad, hasta que me convierta en rayos. Y más y más allá, a través de la gran oscuridad. invitation sa inyo to uh, know yourself more. Uh, I'm sure kung meron man po kayong ngayon nyo lang nakita, no? ah, meron pala akong ito. No? That's your potential. Thank you. Na hindi nyo pa na-unleash. So kanina po, uh, medyo busy pa rin ako sa pag-check, pero nakikinig po ako sa mga ginagawa ninyo. Have you ever thought that you would be able to do the things that you have done for the past four days that you have been in this win. So these are your potentials. And paulit-ulit, paborito ko din po si Spider-Man with great responsibility, with great power is great responsibility. So doon po sa inyo mga personality traits and characteristics, alin po dyan yung would be helpful to you in your healthy relationships. And alin po dyan yung uh, you need to somehow polish. No? Wala pong ano ba yun, matigas na uh, hindi na pwede magbago. Pwede pong makakagalan, pero let us be patient. Yung Diyos nga na kapapasensyosa sa atin at pasensyosa sa atin. Di ba? Tayo pa po kaya. So, maraming salamat po at uh, No gift is too small. Just give your two loaves and five fishes. No gift is too small. Every one of you has been made by God to be a part of this seminar. Talagang no one is bigger than the other. Today, we are equal. We are equal. And it is good to be equal and to have fun together. So, the quality of being healthy an active process of becoming aware and making choices toward a healthy and fulfilling life. Think of prevention and health. When we say wellness, it is an active process of making choices toward a healthy and fulfilling life. But you have to act on your choices. is built with good relationships. Not just relationship, but good, good relationship. relationship. Do not isolate yourself from others. Connect 
find time to connect, to have time with people, especially those people whose company you enjoy. Because it does not protect only your heart and your physical health, it protects your brain. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Embassy for the invitation, for me and Peg, but most especially for my friend over here, Father Henry, for recommending me to come over to facilitate this seminar. This is one of my most unforgettable seminars in my whole life in a very special time in Lebanon. I am so blessed. Of course, uh, to Gwen. Gwen, I just called you Gwen. I'm older than you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, you. To Gwen, to Faye, and of course to uh, Father Henry. This is the second time that uh, the embassy uh, organized and then sponsored a training program to upgrade the skills of our personnel, especially on handling uh, crisis. And I hope that we can still upgrade this one. Uh, we continue on training. This is a priority for me. We would like not only to empower the Filipinos, especially, but empower our people in the embassy because uh, we are the ones uh, dealing with our clients and we should uh, be able to uh, provide the best. Okay, so. Since most of us are not trained for this kind of work, I think even for short periods of uh, uh, time, we should uh, learn little by little and uh, use, <coughs> learn and use, apply what we've learned in our daily work. Uh, so thank you again for this enjoyable, meaningful and productive four days of training. Uh, on behalf again of uh, my colleagues, thank you very much. Thank you. Quiero perder lo que queda y más y más allá a través de la gran oscuridad hasta que me convierta en rayos y más y más.